Uh, and, you know, not a lot of people get a chance to uh, sit in the front row for a concert. And I will say it's a pretty unique experience. Um, I, and, I, you know, we're lucky enough to have sat in the front row for some shows. I know you've been at the front row for a bunch of shows. I have. So, um, I got tickets to see you uh, 2 uh, front row back in the day. Wow. But this was their Pop Mart tour. Do you remember that disaster of a tour they did well, back in the 90s? You know, I've 2000s? never seen you 2 but... Well, if you, uh, let me give you a little tip. If you will see you 2 you want to do it from the 10th row or back further. Okay, You don't want to get up too close. Because uh, you get to see things like... Like I like sitting front row because you, hey, I'm in the front row, but it's not the same experience, and it, it kind of takes you out of the moment. Because Bono was wearing some kind of weird like outfit that had these little um, styrofoam balls glued to them. Mm. So I'm sure from ten rows back, it looked pretty awesome. Like, oh, cool, look at that outfit. But up close, you could see that they were glued on, and some of them were falling off. You can wow. see Bono's platform shoes. Is he a spitter? Because Bob Weir it, from yeah. the Grateful Dead is a spitter. He's so, a spitter. yeah, if you yeah. sit to it, not that you'll get wet, but you see it. You can, the lights oh. like magnify. It's like somebody spraying hairspray on the microphone. And I don't know what it is, but just a few rows back, you don't see it. But when yeah. you're sitting front row, you see all of that spit. I took my son to see uh, SpongeBob on Broadway for the last time before they close because he loves that show. Yeah. And I got him front row seats. So we sat in the front row. And all he could talk about the entire ride home was how they were spitting. <laughs> that was it. It was like, oh, it was so cool. Every time they sang it. Yeah, when like, you're yeah. seven, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, there's the spitting factor. There it's like is a Gallagher that. show. You need a big, uh, you know, jacket. It's to like, and, and with aging rock groups, sometimes you don't necessarily, like, I'm telling you, to see, the last time I saw the Rolling Stones, it was from really far away, and they looked amazing. But I know if I was in the front row, I'd be like, oh my God, they're getting so old. Well, I actually sat in the front row for the Rolling Stones. They nice. Did, they did a special show, and this was back in the 90s. They that did, was the Voodoo Lounge days? No, I think it was after Voodoo Lounge. They did this special thing on MTV. They used to call it Live from the 10 Spot, where they yeah. would do like a different band like in some remote location live every week. And I was able to get in to see the Stones. They were doing it from uh, Bayonne, I think, or something like that. It was like a weird, weird, weird place that they were doing, a small little club. And I got there super early, and I was awesome. right dead center, right up front on the stage. It was kind of depressing. Yeah, but... Because you could see they were wearing orthopedic shoes uh... that were like made to look like cool shoes. And even back in the day, like Keith Richards, even though he can play the guitar great... Like he, it was almost like he was in slow motion, but his face was doing the motion, so it made it look like he was going faster than he was. I, and like they were all, you could see all the wrinkles. I, 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 I like I, I would, well, I would never want to sit old. in the front to see the Rolling Stones. <laughs> yeah, and that, that was just a long time ago too. Yeah, yeah.